Who are the best draft picks in round five, six, and seven? I got a video on round one down below, round two down below, and a video on rounds three and four down below. Make sure you go watch all three. But this video is about round five, six, and seven. Who are the best picks that can help you win a league? How do you dominate rounds five, six, and seven? The Fantasy Football Show. Yeah, it begins right now. This is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Smitty. Take a lap. And this guy stands out in a major way because he's a second round player with Russell Wilson. You take Russell Wilson away and people go, oh, he's so risky. And then he falls, right? He falls into the third round. He's so risky. He keeps falling into the fourth round. He's so risky. Nobody recalibrates in a, and reassesses the situation. He's now no longer going here. He's in the fourth round, Bob. When are you going to react? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Now, because people are doubting him even more for whatever reason, he's fallen into round five. He's a fifth rounder right now. You can get DK Metcalf on the regular, at least at the top of round five. He can win you a league here. You can complain about his quarterback situation all you want, but you're arguing a point that was valid when he was a second rounder. And now you're giving me this repeated, boring and irrelevant and, and garbage conversation and argument as if that still applies to fifth round value when do you adjust and adapt bob win a league potential from round five you got to be out of your mind you've just been smitty approved i like eli mitchell and mike williams in round five but maybe not going to throw them on here because again we're, we're talking about players that are going to absolutely crush for sure their adp and, and there's some questions there i still like mike williams a lot i think mike williams could finish as the number one wide receiver in, in the charges he can inform in 2022 he could have 10 12 touchdowns 1400 yards 12 touchdowns i mean very doable for mike williams i like him a lot i want to mention him eli mitchell i want to mention him great value in round five st brown in round six or especially seven if you can make that happen can win you a league this guy was the number two wide receiver from week 13 to week 17 even if you narrow it down to to week 14 to 17 then 15 to 17 then 16 to 17 then just 17 and even just 18 who was the top five wide receiver in any way you manipulate the the span of games meaning he was consistent when you look at his week 13 through 18 and you see 10 targets eight targets eight targets nine eight eight and 12 receptions 12 11 11 11 and 10 look at these touchdowns one 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 dude was the most consistent wide receiver in the nfl or number two behind cooper cup i know they didn't have a lot of options they were injured they were banged up he was kind of force fed but look he delivered in a consistent fashion that you can't trip and fall into those numbers and for me even though i'm careful not to extrapolate that data across 18 games and say oh this is what he would have done if he you know you can't really play that game you can try it out you can test it out you can see what the numbers would say and it would say he was like the second best receiver in the nfl behind only cooper cup but at least that data that consistency can tell you okay well we won't rank him here but man he could be a, a high-end wide receiver too he could even maybe flirt with low-end wide receiver one fantasy football numbers in 2022 and for that reason he feels very baked in in the sixth round and win a league potential so i absolutely love st brown and i think he's gonna smash in 2022 you've just been smitty approved to the moon. and we'll go as far as to say we're sending st brown to the moon now i told you earlier that Brees hall was my number one league winner in 2022 my number one he can win you a league in round four. You get him in round four, walk to the bank. Joe Burrow is the second best value in 2022. And I don't care about late quarterbacks or a value. It doesn't matter to me. This guy, if you get him anywhere right here, you can win your league because he can be the number one overall score in fantasy football 2022 this is the latest you will find a player that can be the number one overall score in fantasy football he could be the number one quarterback he could be the number one fantasy football scorer period he's going to take a big step forward people keep judging him as if he can't improve or, or get bigger numbers or that jamar chase is going to be dialed back ridiculous arguments across the board this guy's a monster and he wins leagues here and you can either say oh i'll get a quarterback later and yeah you're going to get value but again apples to apples burrow and the player i pick like iuk or tyler algier if you're going really late for your quarterback whatever two players i have apples to apples are going to be better in my opinion than your two players no matter what you argue i honestly think burrow will throw for 44 45 touchdown passes in 2022 i truly believe a couple rushing touchdowns this guy could be near 50 total 
He could score 50. As I said already, he could be the number one overall score in fantasy football. For 45 TDs too much for you? You don't envision that kind of season for Joe Burrow. For Joseph Cigar Smoking Burrow, well, that's on you. Buckle up, Buttercup. Joseph Burrow is dropping loads all over the field in 2022. 45 plus passing touchdowns. Chew on it. Joe Burrow, a smash in the 5 6 round turn. Wins you a league. Don't even hesitate. You've just been Smitty approved. I'm going to say Dalton Schultz, but he's climbing up and he may not even be in round six anymore. So Dalton Schultz, I love. I love Elijah Moore. I love a lot of guys. So if I left anybody off, it's not that I don't, I don't like them. For example, my Moon Men for 2022. The Moon Men. <laughs> Dropping loads in outer space. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Space monsters. Indeed, space monsters. And, and so, on this note, Trey Lance could win a league in round seven. So, I, I love him ADP wise. Tony Pollard in round six, seven. I love Rashad White in round 10. Uh, you know, th this, these are the these are the moon men. These are the guys headed to the moon in 2022. So I wanted to mention them. I don't want anybody to think I'm forgetting about Tyler Algier in round 10 or nine, uh, Rashad White in, in nine or 10, or Dalton Schultz if he falls to, falls to round six. But the last guy I want to mention, Kenneth Walker, who will be a moon man eventually. We will put him on that list. Kenneth Walker can win you a league in round seven or eight and i don't mind reaching in, in round seven in case somebody gets cute i've done two drafts already redraft leagues one was a super flex and he went in round six and round seven so uh you can miss out on him trying to get too cute so i'd say round seven is very comfortable even though you can get him an eight and nine i don't need to see in the comments but smitty you're telling people to reach because i got him a nine or ten good for you i didn't okay everybody's league is different and in round seven i'm gonna even put him right here take him Take him. He's worth it. He's a league winner. He's a top five to ten running back and waiting. Penny's not going to stay healthy. Penny's had a lot of time to prove it. I know he did really well at the end of the year, but Penny's going to have a tough time staying healthy, in my opinion. And even if he stays healthy, he's going to have a tough time holding off a guy like Walker. His team wanted him bad. His team sees him as a, a future workhorse. He's one of the best running backs in the entire uh, draft class for, for navigating space. In fact, he's one of the best running backs to come out of college at a long time. Time. Um, him and Brees Hall are actually very, very highly ranked, in my opinion, across the board from all running backs in the last decade. I think both of them are in that top five, top 10 range for running backs coming out that have the upside and potential to be difference makers at the next level. This guy has this like Marshall Falk meets Alvin Kamara meets Javante Williams type wiggle. He can navigate open lanes as good as anybody in the NFL. He, he gravitates to it like a magnet. He's literally running down and if his body indicates okay over here we've got more open space this way dude will take instead of going north he'll go northeast and he'll literally gravitate toward these open places on the field and continue to march down the field he navigates space like no running back that i've seen in a long long time come out of college in recent big 10 history kenneth walker ranks number one in forced missed tackles over jonathan taylor in 2019 melvin gordon 2014 saquon barkley 2016 this guy's a tackle breaking monster so the stats back it up it's not just my gut instinct it's not just the combine it's not just the film everything in my gut in the numbers at the combine it all screams elite running back in the making a top five to ten running back in the making the eye test alone has me thinking this the stats back it up and this whole idea that he can't catch footballs because he didn't do it in college it's the same criticism that zeke elliott had coming out of college when the offense didn't use him we know with our eyes he can catch he proved it at the combine his elusiveness, his ability in open space to make plays is number one for making you a good PPR running back. And so for people not to see the writing on the wall that he would be a PPR monster, not that he'll be good or efficient in PPR, he'll be a PPR monster like Zeke was when people said Zeke wouldn't be. If you can't see that by his ability to navigate open space and the proven hands we saw at the combine, I don't know what to tell you. This guy was a little busy too, running for 150 and 200 yards a game on the ground so back up off the ppr angle he's gonna be an absolute monster i want walker in every single league in 2022 he is absolutely 100 000 smitty approved and really it comes down to hall burrow and walker for my three best values in all of 2022 and they go in round seven five six and four kenneth walker you are smitty approved 
just been Smitty approved. And that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for joining me for this very cool episode of the best values in every single round of your fantasy draft. The next video will be the players to avoid in every single round. I got you covered. Get your one-on-one text advice at thefantasyfootballshow.com. You can text with me on demand by going to thefantasyfootballshow.com. Bowl predictions, rankings, trade calculators, articles, year-round content, thefantasyfootballshow.com. Real quickly, make sure you click the link below. Underdog Fantasy, go play Underdog. They're matching up to $100 of your first deposit of new depositors. Take advantage of all these values we keep talking about. DK Metcalf in five, Joe Burrow in six, Kenneth Walker seven and eight, Brees Hall in round four. Go win some best ball leagues. Go get your deposit matched. Go do it now. Link in description. Use promo code SMITTY. This is the Fantasy Football Show. With your host, Smitty.